Game Which, started. Okay, we got DA fifty four RGY Harry <laughs> from the UK. Okay, let's try uh, D four. Yep, I can't make any sense of that name. I have no idea what he's trying to say with that. Okay, ah, oh, we have a Grenfeld. No, no, I'm sorry. A Benoni. Okay, a Binko Gambit. And uh, I usually decline the Binko Gambit by pushing uh, B6. And then um, develop the Knight, try to hold on to my remaining pawns. Um, if, uh, if all goes well, I'll be able to play um, E4 and also um, B3 at some point, so this B pawn won't be such a liability. But this does take time to set up. He can go to the square. Um, oh, I wasn't expecting that. I was going to say he can go to the square e5 there. The knight here uh, can also reroute to e5. And that keeps my bishop away from uh, e3. Let's just um, develop my bishop and let him. Let him go to e5. I'll try and keep an eye on the knight there. Now my plan was to um, play b3 and bishop b2. And the question is, is it is it safe? Because he can push ahead with um, c4. Pawn takes, and the queen's protecting the bishop. Well, I was thinking c3, yeah, and then bishop b2, so... But if I just play b3 immediately and he pushes c4, I can just take it. After bishop b2, uh, I don't know if there's going to be a threat. I don't think there is. He, ta he pushes, I take, and like I said, my queen is defending on b2. Although the knight, the knight may be able to move with tempo. I want to get my rook off of this diagonal. Okay, <clears throat> so anyway, yeah, I was focusing a lot on this side of the board and letting him castle. Now, um, do I want to trade here? I could um, kick his queen first. Queen would drop back to b7 to stay in contact. No, actually, the queen could go somewhere else too because the bishop is defended by the rook. So knight a4, the queen moves. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't seem to do too much. I can play here. Uh, I want to get my knight to the square. c4, it's a good square for the knight. And the bishop is protected by my knight. takes and then he starts putting pressure uh, yeah now this is maybe a bit awkward so knight here knight takes queen takes I can't take with the pawn um, because my bishop will be hanging or knight here knight takes bishop takes Knight could move with tempo, attacking my queen. Yeah, I need to recapture the knight. It's so knight here. Knight takes. Queen takes, and then I lose the bishop. Hmm. Okay, let's move the king out of the way. Ah, but there's an immediate threat of uh, either. Um, 
either c4 or a4. I can't take them because my bishop is pinned. The pawn is pinned against my bishop. The bishop is hanging. Okay, so I'll move the bishop off of the b-file. I want to move my king to h1 so that I can play the move uh, f4. That was the other thing I was considering there before I thought better of it. Uh, now he's moved his queen off of this diagonal, so I don't even have to move my king. I can play this move immediately, right? So where's the knight going? The knight could go to um, g4. And then it's threatening to come into um, e3. So I'm thinking knight g4, rook f3. And then kicking the knight. Kicking the knight with the move h3. Uh, he might just move his queen back to. Uh, well, if he puts his queen on the diagonal, I guess uh, b6 is not good because I'm just going to play knight c4. Okay, so he plays there. Let's uh, kick the knight first. See where it's going. Okay. And now, knight c4 to stop the advance of the c pawn. Then um, consider whether I can push through in the center. Get some sort of uh, kingside attack going after that because he has relocated all his forces over here to the queen side. I could, you know, double on the f-file and push ahead with uh, f5 or uh, e5, I guess. Okay, yes, the knight is not defended there. Hmm. Oh, no, it is. The knight is defended. I, I'm defended by the pawn. Okay, rook f1 is a possibility. e5 is not because he can just take on d5. f5 and he plays g4. Let's, let's go with rook f1. Maybe queen to um, d2, so that um, I can play. Ah, now he's going to he's going after my knight. I think uh, I don't want to allow any particular. I, I don't want to allow that kind of damage to my pawn structure. So queen takes. I'm going to move my king <laughs> off of this diagonal. Because um, I don't want this pawn here. This pawn push I don't want coming with tempo. It plays the pawn push anyway, yeah. <clears throat> so that's probably good. Can I take the knight and then take the pawn? He can take here first, I guess. Um, oh, he can take here and attack my queen. Could have, could have played uh, CB attacking my queen. Hmm. 
Hmm, so now he has the possibility of invading along some of these lines. So this extra pawn is probably not going to last. I'm wondering if... Um, I should put the knight somewhere better. Maybe knight on um, d3, hitting his rook. Yeah. Yeah, I can't really, can't really defend it. Oh, but my idea is to play um, E, E5 here, E4 to E5 after he takes the pawn. And if pawn takes, pawn takes, pawn takes, pawn takes, I'm hitting uh, this, um, I'm going to be hitting the square F7 with my rook. Also created a weak pawn on uh, Five. Hmm, yeah, that's a little bit annoying. Where can I go with the queen? So I could go here, but then he can just exchange uh, the queens. Um, I could go to... Let's see, I guess I'm not controlling any of these squares. Okay, let's... Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm just having trouble finding a good square for the queen. Uh, gotta move somewhere. I guess there, <clears throat> I didn't didn't see anything better. So uh, the problem is uh, he he can take my um, my knight now. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be losing. So I guess I had to play here to defend my knight. Is that possible? But he was still going to play rook takes knight, queen takes rook takes. So it's uh, he would have gotten two rooks for um... check. Yeah, it goes with checks. So I don't even get his bishop. Okay, um, well, I'll play on a few moves, but I'm about, about to resign here because there's not much going on in this position. The check here, the bishop can block it. And otherwise, he's just got a piece up. Okay, good game, uh, Mr. Harry, whoever <laughs> whoever you are. White <laughs> and, uh, resigns. I will do a postmortem as usual. See you guys later. Bye.